Braising these red potatoes in a skillet cooks them two ways for a delicious creamy and crispy dish you'll love. And it's healthful. Welcome to Lawyer in the Kitchen. Today we're going to make braised red potatoes. Now you couldn't have a simpler way of cooking this. This is going to be both creamy and crispy because of the way we're going to braise them. We're not going to boil them, we're going to braise them. So it means there's much less liquid. We're going to cover them up and all that and everything and then we're going to, we're going to cook them down until there's just butter left in and that'll make the cut edges of these potatoes super crispy with the inside creamy. They're going to be fantastic. We got about a pound and a half of red potatoes, some chives, some fresh thyme. We're going to use about a half a stick of butter, three cloves of garlic and some lemon juice and two cups of water and all of the rest is just cooking. All right, so these are small red potatoes and we've washed them. They're dried. They're all ready. We're just going to cut them in half. And that way we have that part's going to go in the pan like that and it's going to eventually be nice and crispy where the rest of it's going to be creamy. It's going to take about probably 45 minutes to cook these to get them just the way we want them. All right, our potatoes are ready. This is about a pound and a half. We'll take about half a stick of butter. That's going to go in it. So instead of just beating them to death here, I'm just going to do this hard enough to get the skin off. This recipe actually, this recipe is stolen, 100% ripped off from America's Test Kitchen from about five, six years ago. I found this recipe, I actually ordered a book and got several of their older recipes. And I'm gonna try this because this looked like this was gonna be fantastic because of the combination of creamy and crispy, a little bit of garlic. They actually call for three cloves of garlic. So you know, I'm not even adding more to it. Normally, if it said three, I'd be doing six. If you don't like garlic at all, and some people don't, I get that. And, uh, that's nobody I know, by the way. Everybody I know likes garlic. We're gonna put these in, cut side down, in the pan. And you are looking for the smaller ones. In the grocery store I got these, these are called petite reds. I'm gonna take one out just so they all absolutely lay flat. And I think we're good. Okay, so then everything else goes in. We pour the water. That's two cups of water half a stick of butter, three cloves of garlic, just like they are, just peeled. And where's my thyme? Ah, and the thyme. And then we're going to get this going. We're not gonna cover it yet. We're gonna wait till we get this. It's gonna take a minute or two. We're gonna get this simmering, not boiling heavy, just simmering, and then we're gonna put a lid on it and we're gonna go about 15 minutes and see if they are tender yet. And then we're gonna go on from there. Red potatoes were first cultivated in the mountains of Peru. Spanish explorers brought them back to Europe in the mid 1500s. When they became popular all over Europe, they were introduced into the United States. Red potatoes are particularly healthful and contain antioxidants such as anthocyanins, which is what makes them red. The most notable area for growing red potatoes in the United States is the Red River Valley which is in North Dakota, Minnesota, and the Manitoba province of Canada. Although they also grow in, you guessed it, Idaho. All right, so this is starting to simmer. I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on it and turn it down to about medium. And we're gonna let this a nice simmer. As soon as the lid clears, I'll show you what this looks like. All right, so at this point, we're gonna do this for 15 minutes and we're gonna check to see how tender the potatoes are. So this is cooked for 15 minutes. What I didn't show you because I forgot was to put the salt in. I mean, almost everything cooks with salt, but, and this gets about three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. So at this point, we're going to take out the thyme and the garlic. We're going to throw out the thyme, keep the garlic. We're going to put the garlic in a little mortar and pestle because <clears throat> we're going to mince that. And then we're going to cook these potatoes a little bit higher now until we get rid of all this water. Okay. So let's get rid of this garlic. We're going to save that. All right, so we're getting rid of the thyme. That's just going to gently flavor this. And I don't see anything else. So we'll keep our garlic, let that cool down. And we're going to go ahead and turn this up now to medium high. And as the water goes down, we're going to start stirring this around so we don't burn anything. But we want all the water gone. So meanwhile, I'm chopping up the chives. And I'm going to start stirring these around. You can see this is starting to get buttery now, which is what we're looking for. The potatoes are going to be nice and creamy, but to get that crisp on them, 
we're going to want this to be down to nothing but butter in the pan. Now, this has been about seven, eight minutes, and it's going to take about 15 minutes or so to get it down to where we want it. Then we're going to make the, uh, the mixture with the, uh, the garlic. And I'm going to use a little bit of salt with the garlic so I can help mush it down. And then the, a little pepper, about a half, about a quarter uh, teaspoon of pepper, and then about a half a lemon in that. We're looking for about two tablespoons of chopped, finely chopped chives. We want every bit of that water gone, which is <clears throat> what reminds me of, uh, what this reminds me of, is the way I make sauteed mushrooms, which by the way, if you like mushrooms, you gotta try that video. And Seth, you gotta put that video up there because that's one of the best things I've ever made. It took me several years to actually get to this ridiculously simple recipe, but it's all in the cooking. And it's this same process where you boil all the water out of it, where you, you know, whatever the word is in cooking for doing that. You got a word for me? Anyhow, whatever that is. Up. Oh, this little baby's got to get back where it goes. All right, so now this is when they can start sticking. And this is where they're going to start turning brown. I'm going to turn this down just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of salt because that helps mash this. And we're going to use a mortar pestle. Listen, you could use a spoon and a bowl. But we're just going to mush this into a paste. That's plenty. A quarter teaspoon of pepper. And a little more. That's good. Move these around again. Ah, uh, now they're starting to crisp up. Yeah, you don't want to burn these things. So there's just we're down to we're down to just the butter now. Let's turn one over and have a look. Ah, that's getting there. Not yet. Not done. Mm, that looks good then. It is gonna be good. The potato's gonna be creamy, the crust is gonna be crispy. I'm gonna turn this down because I wanna burn it. We got everything in here. And look at that, isn't that nice? Take the rest of my pepper off of here. All right, stir these around so they don't burn. And they, They've got a nice color to them also. Ah, uh, now they're starting to crisp up. The potato's gonna be creamy, the crust is gonna be crispy. I'm gonna turn this down because I wanna burn it. Look at that, that's beginning to look pretty right. All right, we've cooked them about five, six minutes, and I think we're in good, look at that, doesn't that look good? Some are crisper than others, but that's got a nice crisp to it. But I think those look pretty good right there. All right, so we're gonna plate these and we're gonna add the chives and our sauce. Now you could mix this uh, lemon and garlic into the pan, and, but I'm just gonna pour, pour a little bit on it and then we're gonna put some chives on it. And then we're gonna have a few more on there. I know it looks like plenty, but it's, <laughs> it's now, now it's plenty. All right, so we're gonna test this, but we're gonna take pictures first. All right, it's time to try them, and I'm gonna put just, just a dash of salt. Whatever a dash is, that's, that's what we're having, a dash. All right, so we're going to try this. You ready? Oh, it's definitely smooth. Look at that. Mmm. That's creamy. You know the lemon comes through very nicely. That is creamy, yet crispy. Come try taste this. This is fantastic. Just a little hint of garlic. What do you think? That's delicious, isn't it? If you don't like that, there's something wrong with you. Mm -hmm. I'm just telling you, these are fantastic.
That is take a little bit good. of time to do, but they are tasty. The crispy is so good. The, the, it's just the perfect amount of lemon. All right. I'm happy with this. This I'm going to have another bite, in fact. Mm. If you liked the video, I'd appreciate it if you liked and subscribed. And if you comment, I'll comment back. And if you make a dish of mine, send me a picture. I'll put it on one of my videos. And I'll see you next time on Lawyer in the Kitchen. <laughs> <laughs>